today we're going to jump into tilt brush and do some painting. So I've never opened this. I thought I'd open it with you guys. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we will try and create a, I don't know about a utopian, but like a, a pleasant virtual reality of the paint. Tilt brush. Alright, so we got a colour figure. We got some neon esque paint. And as you can see, I can sort of move my head around and move in and out of the painting. And... Oh, this is, this is awesome. It's like a neon mesh of stuff. <laughs> what else we got? Let's just see what this looks like. Ah, it's got a it's got a bit of a swirly thing going on inside of it. Alright, so yeah, cool. So some of these brushes are gonna have sort of an animated pre animation pre-built into it, a bit of colour. Hmm, very cool, very cool. Oh. Awesome, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's, yeah, so square to make it smaller and triangle to do bigger strokes. Oh, look at that, you can really see the animation there now of what's going on in that stroke. Yeah, there's no like, what is it? Oh yeah, there's a tiny bit of, um, that's up full blast, but there's a tiny bit of pressure sensitivity, I think. Yeah. Sort of. Once you get the stroke going, it's sort of different, but, um, yeah. Awesome. Clear sketch, maybe? Yeah. There. Just getting a bit chaotic there. I don't know if I, I feel like a midget, like I'm... There we go, that's a little bit better. But no, what I want to do is I want to create like a forest or something. Alright, yeah, we're going to stick with this coarse bristles. And then, I love that you can just turn your wrist like that, that's really cool. You know in that movie, Troll in Central Park? My uh, sister used to make me watch it and I hated it at the time when I was like 10, but I watched it like oh, six months ago and that's a damn good movie. Very relevant too to like issues of today, climate change and all that. But um, yeah, I'm going to be a bit like that troll, just using my green thumb. I'm sort of like the level one version of that troll. <laughs> realized, I remembered, on here, it said teleport, and I'm thinking, yeah, uh, well, yeah, teleport, yeah, so I could go over here and I could put more grass. I should be trying to check on last, oh, come on, it's right there, it's there. It's right there. Ah, damn it! Look, it's there. You see? There we go. It's. It is odd. The uh, nature of this, it's like doing a two-dimensional. No, no. Yeah, you're applying a two-dimensional thing onto a three-dimensional space. You're painting on air, nothing. The virtual air, that's what it is, virtual 
space. It is weird, like there's no surface that it's snapping to. It's um, yeah, interesting. Oh, there's an undo button there. There we go. Alright, found it in the end. Sweet. Tell you what though, doing that gave me the idea for the next part of our little environment here. I'm gonna put the tree right in the middle. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so I'm gonna make this as big as possible. I feel like there should be a button to just... Ah! 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 Look at that! Ah! Oh, I worked it out. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Yes! So, you hold those top buttons to... Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Oh, wonderful. Alright, so, now that I've worked that out, by pressing those two main big buttons on the controllers, sort of angles... See that? Yeah. Hell yeah! Can make it look like it's a little miniature. Can make it look huge, like you're a little ant. That is just brilliant. And like, how truly is that? Like, it's really good. It's a little bit different to in that dreams game that I was playing the other week, the other month. But um, yeah, interesting. Very good. Very good. I'm glad I worked that out. And I love just jumping into a game and just. Not getting any direction whatsoever, I'm just figuring it out. <laughs> no, it's, it's kind of neat. Makes me feel intelligent. How cool would it be if we did like a little spider way, like shh, give me enough of the side, that came off there. Change the colour. Do a little spider web. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So this is going to be interesting. So, thinking. Nah, two, two. Alright, we'll spider web. Make it a little bit smaller. Yep, alright. And then, see, because I'm in 3D space, and because I'm looking at it with 3D goggles, this is going to be much easier than. Trying to make something in 3D on a 2D space. Yeah, what do you reckon, huh? Pretty cool. I mean, that's. I mean, I don't know exactly how big this tree is, but that's a big spot of it right there. Oof. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is wicked, right? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Night sky roll over. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, and there you go. In my virtual world with my snowman. Yeah. He hasn't got a face, but here I am in the snowy world under a weird looking tree with my snowman. Spike, here we go. There we go, got a nose. Yeah, oh, hang on. Right, gotta get the right brush for this. And... Yeah. 
I've got some ink. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, got a snowman. fun I mean I just did a little simple piece there but uh, yeah oh man I can see you could, I could uh, sink a few few hours into that I mean I'm a little sweaty and ugh. I'm not getting as much motion sickness as when I first threw this thing on certainly not with a program like that because it's pretty static and pretty you know you're, you're not moving around and being thrown over by zombies and shit in other games but uh, no it was a very pleasant Nice relaxing vibe. This video is not sponsored or anything, but it's a really cool device. It's probably the most affordable uh, VR setup you can get. It's also the best value. There's a few programs on there now, a few games. Of course, like I said, I'm still hanging on tight to my patience for the Dreams PSVR support. So when that comes out, I'll be, I'll be jumping on that like straight away. Do I think you should get a PSVR now? I think if you're locked up at home with not a lot to do, uh, this is definitely a really good way to escape. They're affordable. If you've already got a PlayStation especially, yeah, it's a very good purchase. It's very underrated and uh, there's a lot of creative potential and a lot of fun to be had. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching me uh, try to drift off into a serene virtual reality and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>